Hi, I'm Pastor John from Journey of Life Lutheran Church in Orlando, Florida. It's fall 2009 and I want to take a few minutes to explain to you why you should consider joining a life group. Life groups are the small groups at Journey of Life that meet together weekly or every other week, usually somewhere between five and ten people in a group, and, and they'll pick something to go over, like we have groups studying the shack, we have groups doing Financial Peace University, we have a group doing uh, a study of death and dying from the Christian perspective. And so they meet weekly to do that. Occasionally the group will decide to do something fun, like go out to dinner or something instead of do their regular weekly thing. But uh, those are life groups, and here's some reasons why you should consider joining them. First, uh, it, the, you'll find that you understand the Bible better as a member of a life group. Uh, being in a smaller setting allows you to ask questions that normally you wouldn't feel comfortable, you know, asking or raising your hand and interrupting the sermon on Sunday morning or something. So a small group gives you a chance to ask questions that Sunday morning really doesn't allow. And in that also, as you study the Bible and, and use other things like the shack to talk about the truths in the Bible, you get other people's perspectives which broaden and deepen your understanding of the scriptures and how they play out in our lives. So you'll understand the Bible better as a member of a small group. You'll also begin to feel more like a part of the family of God as you build those relationships and the friendships that come from getting together weekly to, uh, to study the scriptures and to pray together and to share your lives together, because that's why we call it life group. It's about our, our lives in Christ. And, and one of the things that happens is when, you, when your life uh, has a road bump, when one of the more difficult things happen and you're struggling, it's easy to feel alone. And when you're in a life group and you've gotten to know some people and you've gotten to the point where you feel comfortable sharing things, uh, you find out that the feelings that you're feeling during your troubling times are not unique to you. And other people have been through the same thing and come through it and can walk with you through the trials. And that can be such a comfort. And it's part of what God has called us to do when he says bear with one another and bear one another's burdens. Over 50 times the New Testament uses the phrase each other or one another. Love one another, care for one another, bear one another's burdens. And the one another's of the New Testament really happen much more, uh, much more profoundly in a small group setting than they do in a large group setting like a Sunday morning worship service. So you'll understand the Bible better, uh, you'll begin to feel really like a part of the family of God, and you might find that prayer becomes more meaningful for you. And uh, nothing wrong with prayer in the big setting. Uh, being a pastor, hopefully we do a good job leading prayer on Sunday mornings. But there is, a, um, if that's the only time you're in prayer, then you're missing a lot of what prayer can be for you. And, and as you pray together in a small group, you won't be required to pray out loud. But sooner or later, you might decide to share some prayer requests or even to pray out loud as the prayer goes around the group. You will find that prayer does become a more meaningful part of your life. You will also find that you'll be able to handle the stress and tension and pressure of life better in a small group because, well, you'll be meeting with other people and, and uh, you'll be sharing your lives together and frankly you'll be having a good time at least once a week, even in difficult times. So, uh, um, so you find you can handle the, the, the pressures of life better. Small groups also uh, provide a, a kind of a natural way for people to share their life in Christ, their faith in Christ with other people because it gives you a place to invite some friends that may not be open to coming to uh, a Sunday morning service. You could invite them to be part of a Bible study, maybe on a, uh, a best-selling book like The Shack, or you could invite them out to eat with the life group on the nights when the life group chooses to just do something fellowship-oriented instead, uh, instead of doing a study one week. And so it provides a natural uh, outreach point in that way. You might also find you develop leadership skills you didn't know you had. As, uh, as things go on in the life group, sometimes uh, people rotate whoever's leading the prayer, always voluntary, never forced, or who's hosting in a home or whatever, and you might find that you like to lead something or, or, or lead in a way that you didn't realize. And life groups are a great place to experiment or find out different types of leadership you might like. Uh, and, and finally, you'll be living out the, the church as uh, the New Testament tells us to live it out. Uh, there is, there's two parts to our life in Christ. There's the, the celebration where uh, we gather in a large group 
uh, in the early New Testament, it says they, uh, day after day they met in the temple courts, that's kind of meeting as a large group, and then they also met from house to house, and that's the small group. The large group, of course, allows, uh, allows the uh, bringing in of, of teaching at a, uh, a deep level, because uh, a larger group can bring in a pastor to, to bring in a message and that kind of thing, but a smaller group provides for that uh, close togetherness and the growing together and all that part of life. And so, so if, you, if you are only going to, to the large group, the Sunday morning worship, without going to the small group, it's kind of like a bird trying to fly with one wing. And so I would encourage you to at least give a shot to adding the small group wing to your uh, life in Christ, life as a member of a church. If you're in another church and you're watching this, find a small group at your church. And if there isn't one, start one. Uh, because they're very, very important and valuable. I have experienced uh, the enormous benefit of being a part of a small group many times myself. And so I would just really encourage you to check out a life group and, and at least for make a commitment for eight weeks to say, I'm going to give this life group thing a shot. And you'll probably find that you don't want to be without one again. God bless you. Thanks for watching this video.